Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to today's webinar on virtualizing Autodesk software applications with Citrix. Uh, my name is Alex Dewar, Head of Excitex IT Solutions Division, and I'll be uh, comparing today's webinar, and then we have a couple of guest speakers. So without further delay, what I'd like to do is to introduce the first of our guest speakers, that's Alex Hill of Citrix, who will then hand over the baton to Adam Joll of IMS. So over to you, Alex. I just want to give you an introduction as to a, a typical uh, desktop deployment within an organization. And you may see this within your own organizations and many, many other organizations. And that we go through lots of steps to make sure that desktops are managed, they're deployed, and they run effectively for our end users. Now, within there, you know, they obviously have the Orthodesk products. But outside of that, there's a whole desktop maintenance, there's other applications to maintain, and there's a whole process that runs within uh, desktop management. And that's the traditional management tools and processes that we all use within IT to actually go and manage machines. What we also then do is we give those machines out to the end users. But when they're given out to the end users, they're deployed out to the end user. They're sat on their desk, and they're running in a distributed environment. Now, by distributed, we mean that our IT may be central, it may be in one head office, but our users are all over the place. They're in branch offices, they're in different regions in the same country as IT, but they also could be in different countries for multinationals or even small organizations that span different regions. So when we deploy the desktop out to the end user, we have a tightly coupled and locally installed image. And what that means is we have the hardware, the desktop operating system, we have the applications, we have the profile, and the user all tightly tied together. So the desktop OS image is designed to run on that piece of hardware. The apps are then installed into the desktop OS, and they're tightly coupled into the desktop OS, which means that any changes we make to the OS or apps on the operating system, we have to make sure that they don't affect any other applications on that operating system. So for example, if we make a change to application A on that machine, we have to make sure it doesn't affect application B, C, D, or E. That takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of process, and therefore costs a lot of money to do for organizations. And every organization at this point goes through that process. Profile is then there for that machine, and it really only kind of works on that machine as well. And then the user is tied into that machine. And the problem there is also that users have to go to their machine to work, wherever that machine is. And we can't assume that all our users, especially in the graphical space where we're using highly complex and big workstations needed to run the complex graphical applications that um, the people we work with use, that tends to be a workstation, a desktop. So if I, as a user, can't get to my desktop for whatever reason, if you're in Europe and it snows, if you're in other regions and there's some kind of traffic disruption, it means that I can't work. Physically, as a user, I can work, but I can't get to my machine to continue to work. So we don't get any agility and we don't get any availability of that image, unless we have laptops, which in many of the cases, the people that you will work with, they don't have that capacity because of the graphical requirements in many cases. So the whole point of our desktop transformation model is from Citrix is to break out of that traditional management process on the right there and also to decouple all the pieces you see on the left that make up a desktop to make it easier to manage but also to be able to centralize it for the uh, end user to make it easier for that end user to use, access and be more agile as an end user. So what we can do then is get away from that idea of having hundreds of images where they have at the moment, to cut down on the desktop image complexity, to stop having to have application conflict testing and heavy testing that costs a lot of money and time within the business, and to be able to turn around changes within our desktop, whether it's application updates or whether it's desktop operating system updates, rather than weeks or potentially months for them to deploy them out to their users from an IT perspective, the IT department, the IT department can do it in seconds or minutes. There's also very much, very uh, many challenges with traditional PC deployments. 
we have the idea of risk, and this is well known within the graphical space. So those users who are using these graphical type applications, uh, like Autodesk, they are looking at very secure images. Now those images could be designs that are intellectual property from an organization. They could be architecture diagrams that are very, very crucial and very, very secretive. And if they ever leak, that could be an issue for that organization. There could be many, many other compliancy regulations about the data, that, the graphical data, sorry, that that user is accessing. Now, the further away that gets from what we traditionally call the data center, the central point where our service sits, the more difficult it is to secure. The more we put things like uh, diagrams, designs out into the desktop space, the more difficult it is for IT to secure those applications and their, those data. So if we could move that data centrally and keep it in one central place, i.e. our data center, we could keep it much more secure than we can currently.